When he calls on me, I will answer him. I will deliver him and give him glory. I will grant him length of days. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God spoke to Noah and his sons. See, I establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you, also with every living creature to be found with you, birds, cattle, and every wild beast with you, everything that came out of the ark, everything that lives on the earth. I establish my covenant with you. No thing of flesh shall be swept away again by the waters of the flood. There shall be no flood to destroy the earth again. God said, Here is the sign of the covenant I make between myself and you and every living creature with you for all generations. I set my bow in the clouds, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I gather the clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the clouds, I will recall the covenant between myself and you and every living creature of every kind. And so the water shall never again become a flood to destroy all things of flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your ways, Lord, are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant. Your ways, Lord, are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant. Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, teach me your paths. Make me walk in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Your ways, Lord, are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant. Remember your mercy, Lord, and the love you have shown from of old. In your love remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Your ways, Lord, are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant. The Lord is good and upright. He shows the path to those who stray. He guides the humble in the right path. He teaches his way to the poor. Your ways, Lord, are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Christ himself, innocent though he was, died once for sins, died for the guilty to lead us to God. In the body he was put to death, in the spirit he was raised to life, and in the spirit he went to preach the, to the spirits in prison. Now it was long ago when Noah was still building that ark which saved only a small group of eight people by water, and when God was still waiting patiently, that these spirits refused to believe. That water is a type of the baptism which saves you now, and which is not the washing off of physical dirt, but a pledge made to God from a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has entered heaven and is at God's right hand, now that he has made the angels of the dominations and powers his subjects. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the wilderness, and he remained there for forty days and was tempted by Satan. He was with the wild beasts, and the angels looked after him. After John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the good news from God. The time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the good news. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, good morning. This very brief Gospel passage is a great introduction to what Lent is all about because we're in the year of Mark, that's the gospel that it comes from. You'll remember there are three versions of the Lord's temptation in the desert, and of course, this being Mark, this one is the shortest of them. Let's notice, first of all, the way that Mark describes things. He says that the Holy Spirit drives Jesus into the wilderness. It's not an invitation then, and Jesus is not going for a break in the country or on a retreat or even a pilgrimage. The Spirit drives him out into the wilderness to be tempted by Satan. It's a dangerous and a lonely place where there are wild beasts, there are big things out there that can devour you and kill you. And yet the angels, the messengers of God, look after Jesus, although we're not told what that means, if it's with bread or with the Word of God or with both. Listening to this, we are tempted to fill in the gaps in the story, but instead let's respect that the story is a simple one, and some things are left unsaid. And it gives us a simple formula that I think we can imitate in these 40 days, our 40 days in the wilderness of Lent. I suspect that due to present restrictions, many of us have that wilderness feeling already of loneliness, of being with the wild beasts, of being tempted by Satan. But just as with Jesus, the angels are at hand. God sends us his messengers to look after us precisely because of our loneliness and isolation and temptation. And let's also remember that the Lord is already there in the wilderness. There is Satan and wild beasts and temptations, it's true, but the Lord is there too by our side. So let's take a little comfort from that as we go through these 40 days with him, testing our faith, our trust, and our courage in the company of the Lord himself. Have a good Lent and keep each other safe. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Today, the Spirit drives Jesus into the wilderness. Let us join him there in prayer. For our Holy Father, the Pope, that he will always guide us in wisdom and holiness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all those who are lonely and isolated by COVID or by other circumstances, 
that the angels of God's mercy will strengthen them and give them hope. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the faithful departed, that the Lord himself will welcome them into paradise. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For ourselves, that we will have the grace and courage to join the Lord in the wilderness, to be with him and to learn from him a new and better way of life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pause for a moment to add our own special prayers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty God, today your Son goes into the wilderness to be tempted like us in all things. Let him, like him, may we receive the grace of your help and mercy as we journey on these forty days with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Give us the right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining forty long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance, and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that, celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith 
Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. One does not live by bread alone, but on every word that comes from the forth from the mouth of God. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>